You know, sometimes you just gotta fucking do it. You, know? you just gotta jump, man. Just just gotta jump. Do it. You know, no wings yeah, and get wings while you fall. People have a misconception that student loans can stop you from buying a house, but not necessarily. There's people that have a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars of debt, and they still qualify for a house. I'm, I'm big on mindset because, like I said, not everyone can get into landlord life. You have to have a tough skin, and mindset is everything. Welcome to the Short End of the Stick podcast. My name is Champu. I am your co-host. I mean, your host, sorry. <laughs> I'm here with my co-host. Fran Jazz. Jenny from the blog. We got a very special guest today. John. He happens to do, do real estate. <laughs> yeah, my man. That but we're not here to talk about real estate today. We're here to talk about other things. We did that last week. Um, uh, drop a bomb on it. For yeah. real. Don't you hate when Flex Talk just right fucking there. talks? <laughs> Add it after. When, when, he, when, when, when he keeps rewinding, that's no, what No, that? Oh, oh that's my God. I Sometimes when the song is good, I'll take one or two, but not no, ten. He used He'll to never drag do that. It. I'll, I'll never do one or two. Listen, I'll take he four. Drag it. He used to drag it. <laughs> no, but he'd be ODing like this. He used to drag it. He'll never do one or two. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. It's got to be like 20 minutes straight. Is he still on? He's still, He's still on. on. Of course. He's still on. Yeah, you know, I don't understand how people listen to him. Yo, bro. Yo. Sorry, Flex. <laughs> <laughs> You guys ever seen him live? Love you. No, I've seen, I've seen him a few times. Yeah, me too. Uh, I've seen him a few times. He does like the same performing. thing? Live? Oh, no, I mean like a No, 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 when he's at a club, he can't do that shit. People want to dance. Imagine. Right. <laughs> rewinding. Yeah. Yo, for <laughs> real. start dancing. Like, like, like rewinding. Yo, if you driving the 2006 Charger, <laughs> you ain't doing it. Go home. If you yeah. got a Dodge Chrysler, go home. If I'm the club, if I'm the club promoter, I'll be like, yo, my man, stop talking. Just play the music. Yo, for, oh my, yo. People won't book him. Yo, for real, exactly. Book Nobody him. book him. Nobody wants to talk about cars. Like, oh, you're here to dance. <laughs> <laughs> just ruining it. I actually enjoy you talking shit about So he's cars. good. He's good live, at least. Of course, he's killing. Yeah. No, he's a good dude. Yeah, he's yeah, killing he it. He's old much. school. He can do that shit blind, folded. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Flex. <laughs> yeah, he's good. From people. Flex, he's good. He's good. So <laughs> let's get into it, guys. We're gonna talk about a very interesting topic that has been in my head for quite some time, and I wanna get deep. Um, I know John has you know a children uh, a child sorry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that has aut autism okay mm -hmm. and we want to talk about like what what it is to have autism you know like okay what, and what is autism first of all for the people that don't know so autism i'm gonna go with like a de uh, definition of online basically it's a disorder um that holds back on like communication and social skills uh, but my definition of autism, I, I would say probably a little different different because my oldest, my seven-year-old, he's autistic. Uh, he was diagnosed when he was, I would say, about to turn two, around two age mark. Uh, so he's verbal. He's minimal verbal. Uh, he knows, like, if he wants to go in the backyard, he wants to slide, he wants to pull, whatever the case is, he can ask for those. But for, like, a full con conversation, it's a little tricky. You can ask some questions here back and forth, but if you want to keep going, that won't work. Uh, and like I would say social skills, definitely. Um, if someone isn't aware uh, or is not familiar with someone with special needs, they will probably get a little impatient. Uh, so you definitely need some patience with him. Uh, but he's definitely grown from when he was born till now. Okay, that's, that's beautiful. He, that's is, is he getting services? That's oh, every day, yeah. almost almost every day, he gets services. So if he, he's at school, uh, they have a ABA structure. ABA is Applied Behavior Analysis, I believe it's called. Uh, so basically, it's like structured within the school. And then when he gets home, he has even more services at home. And he gets a lot of services throughout. Right now, it's uh, school just finished. So give him a little break. Yeah. All that hecticness um but he goes back to school in july uh it's called extended school year okay okay that's cool yeah that's interesting um so i know you was a first time parent mm -hmm. when all this happened you know because that was your first child yep so mm -hmm. tell me how that experience was being a first time parent and 
you know, the shocker and, you know, the struggles of, you know, dealing with, you know, all the struggles of, you know, oh, definitely. It. So first pa first child, uh, we, we didn't have nothing to compare it to. So we didn't know if he was delayed or anything like that. So it was, it was a little trickier. Um, but when we took him to uh, his pediatric, they brought it up because of the eye contact. He was doing a lot of eye contact. So we was in a little denial at first. Like, no, that can't be. He's perfectly fine. But we had nothing to compare it to. It was our first child. We had nieces, but with the nieces, you take care of them for a little bit, and then they go back to their parents. So mm -hmm. you're, you're not there with them right. throughout mm -hmm. the day. So you don't, you don't really know. So when uh, we took him, uh, the doctor recommended to go a psychologist to, to get diagnosed. And we took him and, and they said, yeah, he was on the autism spectrum. So the spectrum is pretty wide. Um, there isn't a, how can I say? There isn't a, a, a one thing that says you're autistic, you're not autistic. It can be a long, long range. That's what it's called a spectrum. There can be some people that are verbal, drive, they can do like they can do some everything. Things, yeah. They can do everything, and there's others in the lower part of the spectrum that probably can't drive. They they can be alone. They need to be someone with them. So I would say probably my son is probably uh, somewhere in the middle or lower. I would say right now, somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to get him to the higher part because I've met older individuals that go about their day. They drive. They work. They do everything by themselves, and they're on the spectrum as well okay um growing up i don't remember recalls you know having people around me about autism is that like a new term or is that i don't I think it's been around i think the first person that was diagnosed with autism actually just died recently it was, oh, it was like 90 yeah. or something like that um but i'm sure people had it many years ago but they didn't have a was, name for it they didn't have a name yeah for it. okay yeah they probably named it other things and didn't have a, a, a correct name for it or didn't know how to handle it all right that makes sense because I, I i recall like being like growing up and i never really remembered anybody having aut autism i feel like it was like a newer thing like as i, I got like, older like I, that's when i started hearing it that's why like, i feel I like it's it's more common now right yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's more sure. common now. at first we were like is it the shots help yes I <laughs> if, you, if you want to get into that, I um, say that at first we were like yo we were like yo why did we do that why did we do that so our other kids were like they're not getting shots but then we were looking we dove a little deeper and started looking at older pictures when he was even younger before the shots and he wasn't he wasn't really making eye contact so it's tough i would love to blame it on the shots but personally i'm not sure I still believe in the shots. So oh, sure, sure. The, it's it, um the only thing you can do is just like get enhance it, right? Like there's no way like they can never like just correct snap out of it or um so that's that's something that we always think about and think about like the future, like how is he gonna be when he grows up? Mm -hmm. Um, so like I mentioned before, uh, a lot of services, a lot of uh therapy and stuff like that to get him in the right track to be more verbal to be able to communicate himself and actually tell people what he wants mm -hmm. instead of being out in the streets and not really be able to communicate with anyone i feel like communicate is number one we can get we we can definitely get frustrated if we're not able to communicate and, and tell others how we're feeling or how what what do we want basically mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, there, I don't, it's not, it's not really a cure. It's only basically getting him in the more independent phase, basically. Mm -hmm. okay. Do autistic children often suffer from other illnesses? Do you think? Statistically, I'm not, I don't think so. Um, but for my son, he also has ADHD. So, mm -hmm. short attention span as well. So, that combo is a little tricky. Mm -hmm. So, he gets tired of things here, like, no, I don't want this. On to the next one, but I don't. I don't think they. It's not correlated with anything else. Okay. Um, that question was because you know a lot of people. A lot of us don't. Not, they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But that. from my personal yeah. experience, uh, I, okay. I say no. All right. All right. Um. 
um do you have any like advice or any pointers on families that are going through the same thing i would say be patient with your child i know it gets so frustrating you want them to be better you want them to express what they're feeling inside but they think different they act different so try to work around what they like to help them get their voice out because mm-hmm. if you're trying to teach them one certain way and it's not working it's just going to frustrate them so try to see it from their point of eyes some that their, their point of view basically what excites them what gets them going how they learn because everyone learns differently mm-hmm. i learn different you can learn differently you can learn differently so try to understand their point of view and try to help them <clears throat> that way where can parents seek help for education etc for their child so there's actually a lot of programs in new york i forgot what it's called when i when we were living in new york there was something called i think it was early there's a lot of public uh free services out there you can google um and also there's also stuff that is covered under the insurance so the at-home services that he gets is covered under the insurance i have to do copay of course but the rest of that, the insurance takes care of. Um, so there's definitely a lot of, there's more services out there. So for instance, there's a lot of big corporations are doing like autistic night or other nights, like sens- low sensory nights. So AMC has one. The theater has one. Uh, we used to do Chuck E. Cheese. It was, I think it was like the first or last Sunday of the month. So basically they, they keep the lights down. They turn some of the music down for like low sensory stuff so the kids won't get too excited and they can still enjoy themselves. Mm-hmm. It wasn't only autistic. It was like all special needs can yeah. go. Okay. And Six Flags actually had a day, but they stopped doing it for some time. I don't know what happened during COVID. It was before COVID we were going. I think it was like during the May. It was like a special needs autism day. And we went. That was pretty cool. Um, what else is out there? There's definitely uh, in the school... There's a lot of good services and just communicate with your teacher and the public school system and they can give you a lot of good tips. There's also like specific locations in the area that are specifically geared towards special needs children to help Mm -hmm. them live like everyday life, like everyday tasks, either go to the bank or like everyday tasks. They have a lot of good stuff out there for that. Okay. Um, autistic children usually are very smart. What was your shocker with, with your own experience? So, so many. He surprises me every day. So, uh, the entire solar system. He loves planets. So, he can name the planets from the sun all the way over to Pluto to beyond and all that stuff in order. Um, when he was younger... All his numbers, he knew all his numbers, letters, and all that stuff. Well, it was like a one, one and a half. I'm like, the heck? Like, wow. it just shocked me. Like, just reading stuff out of that. His memory is freaking insane. When we're on our way to Six Flags, I'm like, he knows. So my daughter doesn't know, but he, like, wait, I know where we're going. <laughs> he knows the highway. I'm like, mm. oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> roller coaster. So I'm like, okay, you know where we're going. Yeah, he gets on the roller coasters. He loves roller coasters. Wow, oh, wow. good for him. Loves roller. He gets coasters, on all man. those rides on Six Yeah, Flags? we just came back from. So we 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 went to Disney end of last year, and pff, he was on all those rides. So when we wow. got back, he is brave. I had to <laughs> get the season pass for Six Flags because he loves those rides. So the rides he can get on. He can not get on the oh the okay car and stuff okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but. The other rides okay. that he can get on. Okay. He gets on and he loves all those rides. So the memory is freaking amazing. He knows how to any 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 little thing. So on the computer, he knows how to type, spell. Get out of here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he knows how to if he wants something that he wants to watch, he spells it out, puts it on YouTube, he knows where my YouTube is. Jeez. All that stuff. So that's beautiful. Man. Technology yeah. is a hell of a thing. Nah, these kids, not, these, listen, kids are these kids are advanced. I feel like they come out the womb and they already know like how to use technology. Hundred percent. Crazy. He knows how to use technology more than my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my son too. Hundred percent. 
My daughter. She, Forget about it. Oh, yeah, my two year old. <laughs> Your two year old? She calls me. She calls you? She calls me. Calls you? Wow. So, yeah, so she goes on the phone. She sees my picture. Mind you, even if it's not a recent call, she goes on. I don't know how the hell she does that. <laughs> she watches it. It's memory. She, she goes on the contacts it. and calls me. She, she FaceTimes me all the time. When I'm at work, she calls me like five, ten times a day. <laughs> and, she just, and she just like this. She FaceTimes me. <laughs> like, what you doing? I'm like, hi. She FaceTimes you? She FaceTimes me, bro. Yes. That is so and freaking she just, cute. Is, right? <laughs> hi. <laughs> and, and, and I probably won't even say nothing. I'm like, okay. She bored, man. Bad. She be bored. That you know? is so cute. Nah, yeah, I love that girl. It, 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 it's so cute, cute after like two times, right? <laughs> she does call me a lot, back to back. That to the point that the babysitter was like, okay, let daddy work because I'm at work. I'm like, damn. Uh, but it's just crazy the no no the yeah it's just something you know what it is they see us on our phone all day or we but, but you know what's crazy that we're not on our phone just what they're doing because they're just on youtube and just doing mm -hmm. tiktok and whatever we're actually like doing and handling stuff on our phones majority mm -hmm. of the time mm -hmm. so they see that and they think that they got to be doing the same thing too mm -hmm. But, it's like but how fast does a kid ignore a call while they're on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, how, oh, it's quick. Isaiah used to do that to me a lot when he was younger, but he doesn't do that anymore. He knows. He, he respects no now. Yeah, he knows. He, he knows. You better give me my, my son, phone. My son, like, I don't go. Who called? Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Like, yo, what's, what's more important? <laughs> these, these, the solar system's more important. <laughs> than like, yo, that is a no. Why he keep calling me, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. No, but she's so smart because she, like, She'll call me. She'll call the mom. She'll call. She'll call like a very a few people. Like a few people. Like she knows who she's calling. Mm -hmm. If she so, calling oh, from like an iPad or something, from or? a phone. Oh, okay, but okay, it's because okay. she sees us. She sees. Well, she sees us. She sees you guys like, calling those yeah. numbers and talking to the person. They they wow. are very observant. It's insane. No, 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 yeah, it yeah, is I insane. Like, it's insane. They're a product uh, of their environment. So whatever yeah, they see sure. other people doing. They do. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Technology is a beautiful thing. It could scary thing hopefully it helps them, man, long term, because we don't know what's going on long term with this technology Oh, yeah, we're we, we getting dumber There's a dumber. negative and a positive to technology. Always. There's a negative and a positive to it. The, I, I, I love technology because it's advanced. We, we, you know how much things we can do now compared to back in the day? Yeah. Remember when they used to say, don't bring a calculator? Now you got a calculator on oh, your phone? On your phone? Bro, you have a computer <laughs> on your phone. Like, the, the, this, is a, this is a computer. It's a computer that, that makes phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that. I remember so, iPhones started coming out when I was in high school, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The these iPhone, kids, the, the these, one? these kids are going into elementary school with iPhones. Yeah. You, Isaiah, be, uh. Isaiah is dying for an iPhone. I am not getting you an iPhone, sir. <laughs> you are only about to be six. What do you need a whole iPhone yeah, for? Yeah, my Android so you can <laughs> No, wait, wait, he doesn't on, want the. I got don't want it all. Coming Android from an Android switch. guy over here. What's wrong with Android? <laughs> There's nothing. All iPhones here? Yeah. yeah That's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, no, yeah, but you know, kids, kids is gonna want. Uh, kids iPhone. will take an iPhone or Android. They take whatever they. They'll get. take anything. They'll yeah. Not yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah wants, wants an a, iPhone. Oh, oh see? he wants the newer one. Yeah. Give him the old one. See what he says. He ha <laughs> he has my old he has my old phone, but he still wants a better phone. Oh, he wants. Oh, excuse me, sir. Crazy. Yo, put his ass to work. And he wants, yeah, he wants a PlayStation are, 5. Too, man. My kids are sports too. A PlayStation 5? I'm you not. want a PS5? Mm hmm. You think a six year old should have a PS5? Bro, I had a Nintendo when that shit was like not even fun you, no you, more. You. Like, <laughs> 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 when they had that shit on clearance, that's when I got a Nintendo. Yeah. Okay? All right? Your boy when the, when the Nintendo 64 was coming out. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's when I had the Nintendo. <laughs> Damn. Have you? And by the way, I still love that. I got, I Yo, got, I got one. That was funny as <laughs> that. But the, the price of Nintendo and PS Five now is a oh, whole it's oh. that's why I don't want to buy on the PlayStation Five. It's very expensive. Yeah, that's Get like a Cardinal PS Three and paint it white. See what he said. <laughs> <laughs> just wrap it. Just wrap it. Nah, hell no, hell no. Exactly. Nah, so that's what he would know. He would know. I don't got time for that shit. Nah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't got time for games. <laughs> <laughs> what you got time for? 
I'm trying to. I, I, I'm I'm on the same path. I'm trying to build a real estate portfolio. Okay. I'm into investment and, and uh, personal development and all that nice, good stuff. Nice. So everything you're saying, I know already. I've read so many books. All the books you mentioned, I read already. Awesome. I even been putting my daughter onto books. Uh, the um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I have nice. my da- Since it's from a child's perspective, uh, that's dope. A child can enjoy the book. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a awesome. good book. You can, mm-hmm. you can even put your kids onto the book. Really? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Is a good it's written from a. He's like a thirteen year old kid or something like that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. since it's written from that perspective, a kid yeah. that age will enjoy reading it and seeing through his eyes, mm-hmm. and it's dope. It's so really basically, dope. the concept of the book is basically he grew up, his regular, his real dad. Basically, is the poor dad. Is the poor dad. Mm-hmm. He went through the school system. He went through corporate America and didn't have nothing to amount for when he grew up. And his best friend's dad was always into real estate. He was buying real estate. He had smarter people working for him, so he noticed that and preferred going that route because he knew the poor dad wasn't the way he wanted to go. Okay. You know, you know what's crazy though. The poor dad wasn't really exactly like super poor, like poor, poor. He yeah. was just, no, was you just, have to. Yeah, it was just like his mind, like it's his the poor mindset. Mentality. Yeah, mindset. Yeah, mindset. Was, was yeah. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't so much about poverty. Like his yeah. his mind yeah, yeah. his mindset was like a, the basic like. Um, he was stuck. He was stuck. Yeah. Nine to five retired. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. books. Awesome. Great books. Awesome books. One hundred percent. <laughs> um, what, what else you recommend for people going through um, self development besides the books? You do breath work. You, you uh, exercise. You do anything like that? Every day, five in the morning, wake up. I I like you ever. It's a book called Eat the Frog. Basically, yeah, you do that do first the, thing in the morning. Get it do out the, the way. The toughest yeah. thing the first day of the morning, and the rest of your day will be better. 100%. Nothing can get in your way. Whatever you're doing, the the whatever you're dreading to do, do it the first thing in the morning. Yep. The rest of the day will be the rest a cake walk. Will be a cake, yeah. cake walk. Yep. Cool. Yep. Okay. Cake walk. Interesting. There's so That's many. Why I, I just got on this podcast. I just be learning. Yo, straight <laughs> gems. <laughs> just be a lot learning of gems. Shit. You do Pilates? <laughs> nah, man. I was doing yoga for a little bit. Yoga's good. Was, yoga was, was. It was. It was different. It was. Uh, I like challenging myself. So you know, I was vegan for a little bit too. Talk oh, about oh, it. Stop being vegan. I stopped being oh, vegan. Man. I just came back from Texas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eating all types of food. That guy slipped up, yo. <laughs> Texas caught him. I was vegan for uh, probably like two years. I, well, I wouldn't Damn. say vegan. I would say probably pescatarian. So I wasn't eating meat. I was uh, more on the veggie side as well as the seafood. fish side, yeah. seafood side. Uh, I just like testing myself, my mind, and I was why I did the yoga too. I was doing all those handstands, all those weird stuff, but I just just weights and that's it now. Just trying to get brolic. Yeah, I'm actually trying to do a tough mutter now, so that's the next challenge. Oh, that's dope. I did two tough mutters when I was doing more jogging, but now I don't I don't jog at all. I did two 10ks. Now I'm trying to do a 5k in September. Shit. What's a tough mudder? I don't know. Tough mudder is basically you you run in through the mud, do a whole bunch of obstacles, and you, I think it's like like a mile and an obstacle, a mile and an obstacle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, that. so you like go under barbed wire, some of the what? electricity. <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do like some rope stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you plunge in an <laughs> ice cold bath. What? Uh, there's like a whole bunch of strings, electricity stuff, and you run through it, and they shock you. So I ran through it. I got shocked, and I dropped to the floor. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that, that shit hurt. It's challenging. Nah, it's just like a little shock. You, it got shocked here, and I fell it through all my body. And I just <laughs> oh, so it went down. Like- That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, what the mm. hell? I don't like it. They definitely make it. <laughs> that, don't, that don't sound enjoyable. Well, uh, uh, they make you sign stuff, right? Like just yeah. in case anything happens to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So if you die. So the first year I did it, I was like drinking water, eating bananas throughout the way because each path they give you something. The second year, I'm like, oh, I was getting a whole bunch of cramps on my stomach. Because from eating too much and water. drinking. Water. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm not drinking no water. Worst mistake I did. I was in the water getting an obstacle. I caught a cramp on my on my oh. leg. They had to stop everybody to get me out. <laughs> oh my <laughs> damn! <laughs> oh. It's not a good feeling, man. Nah, no, man. Uh, not when you run it. Especially so, oh, damn. Nah, man. so yeah, if you're doing one of those, make sure you're hydrated. Get your potassium in, and I would. I don't think I'd do that. That sounds nah, like it hurts. <laughs> That's a big challenge. Don't never say never. That's too you much. Never know. It's too much. 
I mean, 5K, 5K ain't bad. I think it's good to push yourself to do push Yeah, that's, that's the good part about it's it. You push yourself. Is really. that really enjoyable? F no. I mean, I've re- It's I've enjoyable re- after the fact. You accomplish something. Yeah. yeah. You feel like, oh, I did it. I yeah. know she was tough, you know, but I did it. So I, I get why people do it. Mm. It makes sense. You're religious? I, I want to be more, but not as much I would, as I, I think I should be. What, what religion? Uh, Christian. You, you, what, what do you think about the afterlife? What do you think happens? Afterlife, I feel like energy doesn't die, it continues. So like your soul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's so funny about that? Uh, <laughs> that was a random question. Nah, for but real, that's so a good you question. You believe in reincarnation too? Nah. Uh, I don't know how that so you're, you're, not, if I'm your not. soul goes back into the, the spiritual world, how'd it get here? Right? It yeah, might, exactly. It might, it might have been a uh, an old soul. A circle. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe in reincarnation. Was, you, you do? do? It's so. animals and shit or like human to human. I don't know. Maybe a human to human. I don't know about uh, the whole animal. Yeah. Like you, you imagine, imagine, I, I always imagine. think about that random. Like, was that fucking frog before? Damn. Well, what makes you think that? No, I don't know. Like it's a random animal. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I just, it's guy, man. Because we were talking about the frog, the book. That's why I said frog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> why you like licking shit? Yeah, I'm like licking oh, shit. Awkward. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you like licking shit? Sometimes. Hey, hey yo. <laughs> professional. Ice cream. Come on, guys. I love ice cream. What's your favorite? I, I really like Elado Wong, son, to be honest. Was that a brand name? No, a brand that's not. DR? DR. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. This guy tells me a brand that's, name. Elado Wong. As soon as you get out the that's airport, what, that's, that's, you see like, that that's what they call it. That's Elado Wong. Well, like, what is it? Vanilla? No, they got them. They got the Yeah, I know. But my, I know, my favorite one is the pink one. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's strawberry. I think it is strawberry. Strawberry. So delicious. So strawberry. Oh ice cream. my god. My second one is I like ice cream sandwiches. Like oh okay. That, that makes sense. Delicious. The chocolate like the chocolate on the, on the outside, and vanilla on the inside. Anything, I just love anything, chocolate peanut, ice cream. anything peanut butter in there. I'm oh in. man. <laughs> I just got into um peanut butter shakes. Ah peanut butter so banana. Delicious. Peanut butter banana. Yeah, peanut butter good. banana and blueberry. Oh my god. So blueberry, blueberry. Yeah. blueberry. Peanut butter and blueberry? No, it's good. It, it makes sounds, sense. Sounds good. It is good, know. bro. The, the blueberry good. you can't really taste it. Like but that. just, oh, okay. but just that's all you put in it. Just blueberries and and, and obviously protein. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Good, yeah. What kind of flavor of protein? I I don't know. I get it. I get it from. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Probably right. peanut butter flavor. Peanut butter flavor. <laughs> no, they, no, they actually put peanut butter. Like oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Scoop yeah, like blueberry so flavor. Peanut there. Peanut nah, stupid. <laughs> no, they actually put real. Come on, go to Don't listen to this guy. Oh me. man, what about you? What? I forgot what was the question. <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> I thought you were anything, were anything, ch- anything chocolate. Yo, the chocolate. funny chocolate. thing about chocolate. me and with chocolate. brownies and chocolate chip cookies, or oh, I just chocolate. Speaking about sweets, I can't have too much chocolate. I feel like yeah. If I have chocolate, I have to have like vanilla with it. Okay. Too much chocolate is like. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like nah. I really? love chocolate. You might be the first person I've ever heard say yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I, I like chocolate. I'm not crazy about chocolate. I'm so, a psycho, so I don't keep it in my house. <laughs> I can eat a whole bag of yeah, Re- Hershey's yeah, Kisses. Yeah, I can eat. That. I can eat a whole cake. I can eat. Yeah. So I just don't keep it in my house. Mm-hmm. So uh, when Me I was a, that, during that crazy. time, I was a pescatarian. I went to sweets more. Oh, oh that's not good yeah. for that eat meat <laughs> <laughs> meat is way better than sugar right and that fake Hell sugar yeah. too it's like people that have like 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 um like a habit like if you're a smoker and you start yeah. smoking oh you, you have to replace it else, yeah, transfer, replace of yeah. transfer of yeah, addiction transfer of addiction transfer of addiction that shit yeah. is real as fuck yeah so i was Very i got into the sweet game and now i'm not pescatarian i still love fucking sweets now um, i was never a sweet guy but now i'm like I like how you sweet. Them shits is a dick thing. You thinking that? You stupid, yo. They are a dick thing. I'm I'm on the same after my meal. I'm like cross cross county, cross county. Never like this. Um, uh, they sell cookies in cross county where Chipotle is at. What 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 type of cookies? All types of cookies. Red velvet, churros. I think it's what's it called? Do you remember? Cookies and cream. Okay. Oh, that's the oh, okay. Cookies, Cookies and cream. I don't think and I've seen it. You should. It's, it's really good? good. They even got good ice. Pissed off on the way home. Damn. <laughs> hmm. Yep, it's really. I good. heard. Um, what is that? The the, the 
that cookie from the city. Uh, insomnia. Chips. Insomnia. Insomnia. Oh, that's mm-hmm. good. It's insomnia like really cookies. good. I never had it. I never had those either. I know. I know. Yeah, Drew, right. Drew's brother loves that shit. Yeah, right. He's talking about it. <laughs> yeah, right. You ever had Chip City? Chip City from the city as well. That's good. That one's good. No, I don't think I No, but I would be going. I'm not crazy has cookies, so. I'm a sweet I guy. love I cookies. Them, right? I love cookies, cakes, brownies. Oh, we just had a debate. Cream. All right, so all right, so what is the best cookie in your, you guys? Chips okay. Ahoy, OG. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Macadamia, Ahoy. chocolate chip, or Oreo? Chocolate chip, crazy. You chocolate wild. chip. Macadamia all day. It depends on the move. I love a good macadamia. If it's a good one, everybody knows how to make those cookies, though. That's why I'm talking about the best of everything. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies. What was the third one? Oreo. Trash. Oreo. Oreo. People like Oreo. What do you mean? You might as well just said double chocolate. Bro, people like Oreo cakes. You are not finished. Oreo. Oreo cake is good, but chocolate chip, you can't go wrong. Like can't chocolate chip. Chocolate chip, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Really like cho- milk? It's like it's I like the OG. Do, I do like chocolate <laughs> chip, but yo, macadamia. <sighs> Mac, if you make a good macadamia. Yeah, but that's the thing, you guys no. it's good. It's good. Especially like fresh you, off the yeah, press. I feel like you could get tired of chocolate chip, but you could just eat a whole bunch of macadamia. Hell yeah, exactly. Yes. I that's the opposite. Chip? I feel like nah, that's, that's facts. Chocolate chip. That's facts. You feel the same way? Chocolate chip. Yo, but you just said you your can't even cup. keep a chocolate. No, that's why I would buy it. Because I would kill it. A whole box I could eat of, of Chips Ahoy, the chocolate chip with, with, a, with a glass of cold it's almond delicious. milk. Oh, my God. The Chips Ahoy that I like is the, 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 the red one, the chewy. Nah, that's trash, bro. This guy doesn't know cookies. I don't like the hard cookies. doesn't know cookies. I don't like hard cookies, Man. bro. I feel like it's a debate. I, I fuck with the chips. Right? I don't like the... <laughs> yo, I, like if I'm eating a cookie, who the hell wants to chew on a hard-ass cookie, bro? It's not bro, enjoyable. You gotta dunk the chips you hold in it. the milk. Right, Bro, right, what are we? Hold on. What are we? What are we? Five? You dump it in there to get it more chewy? No, not chewy. No. It doesn't get chewy. You dunk it in like you're suffocating someone because you see the, <laughs> you see the bubbles come up. When the bubbles stop, that means it's completely submerged, and it's like it eating, melts in your mouth. But it, it's, just, but it's eating a, a cookie that's crispy, full of milk. <laughs> oh. What are you guys? Ten. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's you can't about even do that with the chewy one. The chewy, chewy one, one's is trash. Is well, it, that it, it leaks off. Man. That's my point. Right. With the, with you don't the, need with milk. The, you don't need milk no. with the it's chewy bad. one. Chewy is for on the go. That's what I'm saying. With the chewy one, you don't, you don't need. need fucking milk. If you need right. something you to need. replant it, that means that fucking cookie's not that great. So, yeah, Sorry. exactly. Trash. You if the cookie's you, good, you don't need no milk. You need milk to make it good. Exactly. You need milk. All right, take milk out the picture. You still it's like so that good. cookie? Oh, the best in the world. Yeah. Oh, but when on. I'm done, please give me a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Part two. That wraps it up, guys. Thank you, John, for coming. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, give us a five star on all audio platforms, please. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Peace. Thank you.